fresh baked goods, hundreds of loose leaf teas, and one of my long time favorites. Would they be called flowering teas? Flowering teas, yeah. To explain exactly what a flowering tea is, allow me to introduce Suzanne Bicard. She is the owner here at the tea store. I, I can't get over them. So they start like this, like little balls and you drop them in. Do they taste different than loose leaf tea, do you find? They do. It is a green tea. And what it is, it's the whole leaf. They take the whole leaf, mm -hmm. they tie little flowers inside, and then they just wrap it all up. So they're all handmade. Mm -hmm. So they call them also artisan teas. They're beautiful. They are. They they're really pretty are. to look at, and they taste good too, mm -hmm. on top of it. Yeah, they taste, so. uh, taste really good. And I find that um, after you finish the cup, you can refill it with the hot water You again. can refill it with the hot water. Some people have used uh, using uh, uh, the flowering teas as centerpieces. Well, that's a great idea. You know, for uh, on a, on a, at a wedding mm -hmm. or uh, just, uh, you know, can, you can use like a more shallow bowl mm -hmm. and add some other things to it, little rocks to it and add one of those. Uh, well, and I bowls. find it interesting too, some of the teapots that you have here aren't just efficient, they're, they're gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, um, this one has the little, you just put a little tea light at the bottom, you light it, put your teapot on top oh, okay. of it. And these ones are perfect, they're great for the flowering teas because they are clear. You can see You can them. also use them for the loose leaf teas. You just put a little bit of loose leaf tea right in here. And then when it's done steeping, you take this one out and then you have your little And if you're looking teapot. for something a little less dainty, you could always go with this guy. In this cup. In this cup, exactly. This is for the sore. ultimate tea drinker. Every time I come here, I have to play with the oversized, uh, oversized teacup and teapot. Yes, you do. All right, you've got a multitude of different fresh baked items. Who's making these each day? Is um, the staff actually makes the uh, the scones every day. Mm -hmm. So they come up with different ideas to what they want to put in the scones. So that is always um, interesting too. So <laughs> this one, it's always a surprise every morning, mm -hmm. um, and everybody has their own little uh, uh, recipes what they want to put in. Mm -hmm. uh, one staff has his favorite is lemongrass with uh, peach, mm -hmm. very nice. And today's and this one is blackberry. But to be quite honest, they didn't tell me what kind of tea they used in them. Maybe we should ask the woman herself, responsible what, for the delicious baked goods. What, what kind, kind of it? tea did you put in them? Um, I'm not sure. I didn't make them. Sorry, you're catching me off guard. <laughs> Oh, I thought here you were responsible for all of the delicious I, baked goods. I am, except for the scones. The except scones the are made the night before, and then we bake them in the morning when we come in, so the scones have time to sort of absorb the flavors. Okay. But oh. she's the one who does the little, uh, what do you call them again? The chocolate... Um, chocolate toffee squares. Chocolate toffee squares. Mmm. It tastes like score bites. Of course. They become very chocolatey. They're very, very good. Now, we have to so, mention before we go, the sandwiches. And the sandwiches. Uh, so one of my employees approached me, how about making sandwiches? Said, sure, if you want to make them every morning, fine. So uh, this is a very popular one, is roasted uh, sweet potatoes with rosemary, goat cheese on it, and um, some green beans. Are you sure? On a, on a sandwich? It is, abs try it. It is absolutely delicious. Give it a try. Okay, okay. I, I thought first to one like roast potatoes on a sandwich. Very unusual. It, no, it is good. How do people find you? You've got the website? we got the website, uh, word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And just wandering around in the market and saying like, hey, let's go and check out the tea store. And your address is? 53 York Street, Bywood Market. Right, so right behind us at the station at 87 George Street. So if you're in the market, definitely come and, and stop by the tea store. They've got hundreds of different teas. And then, okay, moment of truth. It is really good. It is, no? I'm taking it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>